Emaze is a dynamic presentation creator. With attractive backgrounds and cool transitions, it may remind you a bit of Prezi. I love Prezi, but honestly, I think Emaze is easier to use. After picking a template, it's just a matter of plugging your information into the spot that they've created. Setting up an account is free and easy, and confirmation is not required, but you'll need at least a pro account for the premium templates. Let me show you three examples and a few options that I think you'll appreciate. So if you're doing poems, and you're going to collect them in, in a book of some sort to send home, to have out during open house, whatever the case may be, well, why not something like a, this cool presentation that you can create in Emaze? With, you don't have to read my poems. I threw these together very quickly. Um, but I do want to just show you this movement. I mean, if, you, if you're familiar with Prezi, then you, then you know that this movement is, uh, is similar. But I didn't have to do any of this animation. Okay, that, that's just part of this template. All I had to do was add a slide, add my text, it did all the rest of the work. That's pretty cool. All right, maybe in science you're doing uh, energy sources, or in this case, alternative energy sources. Uh, I went over to my good friend Morg file and downloaded some photos that matched the uh, alternative energy uh, source that I wanted to talk about. There we go. You can see that this, uh, this template is a little more straightforward, right? I'm just sort of scrolling down the page. It's simple. It's very simple. Kids are going to be able to plug in their text or their photos very quickly, very easily. And uh, I do have uh, this one, which you can see is kind of in the edit mode here. Uh, I haven't finalized it, but I just wanted to um, show you that it really is just a matter of creating a new slide, adding a new slide, plugging in whatever information you want to plug in. Look at that transition. Isn't that cool? Look at that. I added a, a little pie graph here. I plugged in the uh, numbers, and uh, it did the rest of the work. And then here, uh, this is just my reminder that I want to talk about the charts and the media. So here are the things that you can plug in. And I do want to show you under media how easy it is to add web URLs or embed code for something else that you've created on the web, something cool that you want to embed. That's cool. And look at all these options of things that you'll be able to add. That is pretty cool. Easy peasy, man. All you have to do is plug it into this box. That That's... Seriously, that is something that in my class I really appreciate because I love taking stuff from one place on the web and adding it into another and creating just this layer upon layer of really cool presentations that, uh oh, that I can then, okay, chill out, that I can then uh, present to the parents, send it home, have it op open for an uh, open house, whatever the case may be. That's cool. Here we have, uh, you know, I showed you a bar graph and a pie. Uh, pie chart. Look at this. Look at these options for these other graphic organizers and graphs. Pretty cool. Scatter plot. That's something that I, I uh, teach to my fifth graders, so it's cool to see that there. Plug into this simple little chart, add it. Man, it does the work. It does all the legwork. Cool, huh? All right, so uh, that's Emaze. Uh, really just I mean it looks so fancy it looks so cool and yet it's really just a simple task of adding text uh, choosing the next slide you want to uh, create whether that includes a photo or a graph of some sort or just text you know uh, and uh, it, it's doing all the heavy lifting for you but it makes it look cool I think your kids would absolutely love it this is the kind of eye candy that kids really get into and they're going to be engaged and they're really going to they're going to put some creativity and some heart into their project to make it look cool. Uh, I hope that you'll find a spot for it. I think your kids will appreciate it and will will really work for you. Uh, if you give them something cool like this with which to work. All right. Um, that's it for me.